walk outside and there's a freaking hedgehog. Look at him, he runs down there. Right up under that shed. What's up guys, it's a Wednesday, it's beautiful, sunny out, I'm um, going to do some vlogging today, I'm not sure what's in store, but um, I'll see you then. This stuff does some something. It's supposed to do a lot, but we'll see. see what that does if that does anything to the car I know it's been running sluggish and seems like it's lost some power on the uh, compression it's fucking people staring at the car <laughs> fucking Subaru just spotted the Bentley downtown I'm about to go film it it's pretty sick it was gray by in a second, I'll show you guys. Alright guys, so I'm back at the house. Um, about to plastic dip this wing here. I've had the uh, wing on the car for a while now, and I just haven't really got around to dipping it. So have this camera focus. Um, yeah, I mean it's pretty much what just primered black, but it's really it's really horrible. And the sun's taking a toll on it. You can tell it's pretty much just faded. Like the color contrast from these end plates that are actually painted black in these stands um, versus the wing it's just really it's like it well it is a different material but I mean it's just definitely faded more than you know the other part of the wing and it's just really dirty I'm gonna clean it up clean it up in a bit and actually um, this car is going to be sitting for a while because the pads are starting to wear down into this rotor the rotor is shot itself so the rotor's no more you can tell where it's wearing and i literally have no pads um let's see if i get this camera to focus in on it probably can barely tell but there's literally no pad left but yep that's my luck so i'm gonna park this car dip the wing and um, before I park it I'm actually going to show you the process of how to properly 
um, prep your plastic dip cans, um, like not with an actual gun, like if you're using a paint can, like a plastic dip can, I'm going to show you guys how to properly prep your dip and how to layer it um, for, for best results because I did this not too long ago. It's kind of dirty, you can't really tell, but it comes out super smooth if you do it the correct way. And I'll show you guys that in a couple minutes here. But yeah, so I'm going to park this back in the corner. Got to take the beater out. That'll be fun. And uh, I'll go take the wing off and uh, I'll see you guys back in a second when I start, before I start painting. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do to prep your Plasti Dip is um, to whatever you're cleaning, just you want to prep the surface of it, you want to clean it, obviously, um, if anyone has painted before, they know they got to clean the surface. Um, don't put wax on it or anything, just something that's alcohol based so that it dries up quickly. Um, I, what I use is just Purple Power, I'm sure a lot of people or some people will out there will just be like oh that's not you shouldn't be using it's whatever I, it's what I use it's what works um, now what you're gonna want to do with your plastic dip can is you're gonna want to heat it up and not too hot but you just want to get it warm so that when it layers it goes on really smooth so what my trick is is what I do here uh, since I drove my car not too long ago, since the engine's hot, I kind of stick it in the engine bay. So, I know, I know one guy, he used to, uh, put his, um, plastic dip can in the, um, bottom of his floor in his car, and he'd turn the heat up to full blast. Okay, so I'm just gonna set the can here, just right here, so I can get it warm. I'm gonna clean the surface real quick of the uh, my wing I'm painting, and I'll be back to get the can. All right, guys. So once the surface is dry and all cleaned, um, I'm just gonna want to go ahead and get your can from wherever you <laughs> wherever you have it resting to heat it up. Get a new kidney grill. This one keeps popping out. I don't know if the can is hot enough, but we'll see here in a second. Um, shake it up. You'll kind of feel it. See, it's it's not fully warm yet. I got to get a little. It's gonna be a little warmer. So I'm gonna wait here in a couple minutes and try it again. Interior's pretty lit on this car while I wait for the dip to. You th you'd think for the paint to dry, but this is for the dip to get warmer. <laughs> and down. Tick top. Look at that. It looks ugly with the wing off. <laughs> Alright, so this dip should be more than hot enough now. Okay. Let's see here. Oh yeah, it's hot, real nice. Um, so what I do to make it really smooth is between coats, every time you go to spray, like in between coats, I always get in the habit of wiping this nozzle down because you don't want to make it um, inconsistent uh, when you're trying to layer it down and you're just trying to make it smoother. You don't want any bubbles in it or you know what I mean okay so when you go to layer it down you're gonna want to your first coat has always got to be very thin you don't want to layer your your um, first coat really thick see what most people who first start out plastic dipping doing that's that's um that's where they go wrong is they just like just spray it on and they just literally lather it on with you know thick coats and well, that's with anything when you go to paint. You never want to go thick your first coat. You always want to go with a smooth first layer. You never want to go overboard. 
Oh, don't tell me now. This can is a shit can. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, looks like I can't do my wing because I just remembered that this can has no, I don't want to say CO2 or air in it. So, literally, you spray it, it sprays nothing. But, anywho, that's how you layer it on. And you just, um, obviously, between coats, you wait till it dries. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it if you want it to go smoothly. You just put on that first coat just very lightly. You don't want full coverage for your first coat. Um, you just want very, you know, spotted coverage um, as your base. And, you know, then when you go to your, your next, um, I want to say your second, not full second coat, but once you go to layer that next coat, just you can probably get full coverage out of that but just make sure that um, that that first initial um, coat is just very minimal because you don't want to overdo it and so that was the forgotten footage I had of my Need for Speed themed most wanted uh, E46 um, I actually planned on making a full video out of it and I just, you know, forgot to not only finish it, but to, you know, upload it and all that, so, and, what was it, yeah, I also planned on making a, um, another video showing how to correctly layer the Plasti Dip and I couldn't at that time because the only can I had of, you know, the black, the, actually, yeah, the, I don't know if it was the only can of black tip or if it was the only can in general, plastic dip that I had, um, so I couldn't really, it was probably the only can of black because I wanted to demonstrate on something that I was going to paint, so that's why I probably did that, so that was probably it because yeah like I said the only one I had was that dud can and there was not that there was no co2 in it I don't know what it is, what it what it what it means but I think it was like one of those cans where like if you're plasti dipping and holding the can upside down for a long time um, I don't want to say it loses all of its co2 or something maybe maybe that's what it is but no it won't spray any um you know nothing out of it no liquid comes out of it so that's that's what happened there and yeah i mean that was it that was it but i guess that's another video for me to do um just to show you guys and demonstrate on the best results that i personally have you know found out um with my experience with plastic dip i'll have to do another video with that um you know, showing you guys what works for me. Um, I mean, I've worked with Plasti Dip for probably about seven years now. And mostly with cans, because I'll do like small particular areas. Um, I never really had like a full spray kit and a gun and, and all that. Um, my friend didn't, he, he uh, did my car, so. Um, I mean that was about the only car there. It was about the only time I had my car dipped was when my uh, friend did it. And yeah, I mean that was fun. But um Yeah, I also got another video on my channel that talks about um if you guys have faded plastic dip, you know, in the states that particularly you know, address a lot of sunshine. Like, I don't know, maybe Texas or Florida, California maybe, something to see some sunshine. If you guys have had uh, plastic dip on your car for probably like with my car, it took about two years for it to, I want to say, start to fade. And then after like the third and fourth year, um, obviously it faded more and it's got to the point to where it's like you, you definitely notice it and it picks it up. More primarily, it started on the hood, more so. 
and then it moved its way to the fenders because the fenders like had bold they were ta I wouldn't say they were I guess you would say they're they were flared more than a regular fender was uh, be, being that it's an E46 I'm sure mo some people would understand um, but yeah I, I did a video on that explaining how to um, restore that faded plastic uh, if you guys want to go and check that out that'd be a pretty nice uh, video to look at if you guys are curious and well that about wraps it up for today's video it's kind of kind of funny seeing the uh, the lost footage when I had found it it was like seeing a picking up a time capsule almost not that it was really like old but it was like a time capsule in a slight sense so yeah I mean that about does it for today's video um, soonfully I'll be doing another video of my SRT4 um, and doing like an update video on it showing you guys like what I've done to it since ownership since I've owned it um, nothing crazy but just some of the mods you know some of the things that I've done to it you know aesthetically wise it looks it looks a lot better smoother um, so stay tuned for that as well and also I'll make another video soon um, of doing my intake manifold gasket I gotta do that so that that's also another video that's gonna be coming out in a bit so stay tuned for those videos and I'll catch you guys in the next one